Hello and welcome back to week three of our online clay tutorials. Um, my name is Chris and I have my lovely co-host Anna. And we are here today um, to talk about more about coil building and getting this pot that Anna's been working on um, a little bit more finished. She's making this tall vase and her goal is to bring it in a little bit further and then maybe have a small neck on it. So, uh, Anna has rolled out four coils, and she's gotten really good at coiling. Um, how has that gone, gone for you? So I've gotten a lot better at it, because like I used to always make it kind of not really circular, and more flat, and I'm getting better at that. Nice, so just a little bit of practice and you've gotten a lot better, great. So we have Anna's pot here, which is stiffened up nicely. If, you could, if uh, we were doing this in person, I'd have all my students feel it. But you can see here, it, I'm pushing on it pretty hard and it doesn't move at all. So it's really stiffened up. Now, in order for Anna to attach this next coil, we need to do a really good job of roughing this up everywhere where the two pieces of clay is going, are going to uh, attach together. Because this is super stiff and these pieces are soft. And the stiffer the clay is and the drier it is, the less likely it is to stick together throughout the drying and firing process. So Anna's gonna take her time, she's gonna set her coils aside, and she's going to rough this up everywhere it's going to be attached, which is this top circle here, and then down along the sides, on the inside and the outside. So Anna, why don't you go ahead and take care of that, take your time doing it, and really push hard and really scratch it up really well. It's very difficult to scratch it up too much. So now Anna has gotten her the top of her pot, inside, top, and outside all roughed up. It's hard to see it on the inside. She did a great job with that. Now it's time to add our next coil. Now this clay is very stiff, and like I said, it's not going to want to stick very well. So the first thing she needs to do is get this entire area that she roughed up really wet. So she's going to take a damp sponge with a little bit of water in it and she's going to get that wet. So Anna, why don't you take care of that for us? A little more. Get a little bit more water. You can kind of drench it over the top. Watch me, Anna. I'm just going to do this. This will work just great. You just kind of go around here and squeeze it out onto the rim and gently squeeze it on the inside as well. Try that. So now she's ready to add her coils. Now, for the most part, she's been just stacking these coils directly one on top of the other, kind of in a straight up and down line. Now she's gonna do something a little bit different. She's roughed up her coils, and she's going to take these coils, and rather than placing them straight on top and going up, she's gonna place them ever so slightly, kind of leaning towards the inside. So why don't you try that, Anna? Put all four of them on there. You can use your stool and stand up there so you can see a little bit better. And this needs to be a little more to the inside. Really focus on making sure they're slightly to the inside. There you go. Great. So you can see here now, if I get it a little closer, that all these coils are now starting to move towards the inside. So Anna, why don't you grab your smearing tool, which remember, for people at home that don't have the tools, you can use the fork. You can also use this end for roughing up. And she's going to do that. And so go ahead and try that out. Okay, Anna's now got the outside uh, smoothed together and finished for that part. And now she's gonna do the inside. So notice she is has her hand just like the duck shape like we talked about earlier in an earlier video and she's supporting it on the outside so it doesn't flare out and she's kind of making this motion here and rubbing it with her thumb. So now Anna's done that, now we're going to do um, our hands in the duck shape and she's going to pinch. Now this is a little bit different than last time. Last time she was pinching and we were pinching straight up to make it taller. Now she kind of has to just use one hand and she's going to pinch in. So she's going to pinch like this and have it go in. So go ahead and try that out, Anna, and let us know how you do. And take your time with this. This is really important. We're getting to the end of the pot here. 
So you can see here that Anna has a piece that this side here is much taller than this side. So what I would do in this situation is I would first just try to pinch this side up a little bit more and make it even. If it still wasn't very even or pretty far off, I would maybe add a half a coil just to that side. But now you can see this is really starting to come together. She has a very, starting to have a very small opening. And so now what we're going to do is she is going to work on paddling. So with this paddling here, we have the wooden spatula that we talked about. And we're going to use the convex side of it, the side that kind of makes a bubble outwards. And what we're going to do is we're going to place our hand on the inside and just gently start to round this off. And I, it's important that I spend some time on this and trying to get this a nice even shape. I'm trying to get all the uneven bumps and divots out of this. I paddle, I round it towards the inside. So I'm going to support it on the inside and paddle on the outside. And I'll do this quite a bit. So go ahead, Anna. Okay, great. So as you see here, she's gotten a nice kind of round, smooth curve. Now this clay is kind of at a stopping point as far as being able to build up any further. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this top part dry a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to, she's going to focus on the body of this from about here down. You can see there's quite a bit of bumps and areas that need to be smoothed out. So she is going to work on paddling that. I'm going to demonstrate here. Let's say, you see that it's hard to see, but there's little bumps. Um, there's kind of a bump right here. And so what she would do is she'd stick her hand in there all the way, support it, and just begin to paddle those out. Okay, so Anna is done um, paddling for the most part. Um, she took about 10 or 15 minutes and did a very nice job. This piece has gotten quite a bit smoother. And also she really looked at the form and tried to make it a nice even curve throughout. So Anna, how did you do that? And do you have any tips um, that you can share with the audience? So while I was paddling, I kind of swept my hand over like this until I like a little found like a little uphill part. Little bump? Yeah. Like now, Anna was talking about that she was, um, that she wasn't able to get all the uh, little divots and bumps out of the piece, and that's very, very normal. So the next thing she's going to do is she's going to take her rib tool, which is this one right here. Um, the whole made one out of the coffee can lid from our first video is right here. will work just as well. But what she's going to do is you're gonna take a damp sponge and just get it slightly wet. So we'll just get a little area wet right here. Maybe this side right here. And that'll soften up the surface and make removing clay a little bit easier. Then what she's going to do is she's going to, I can't get my hand in there, maybe she can, but uh, this is stiff enough to where you don't have to support it from the inside. Then you're going to take the curved edge of your tool and just to start to scrape away areas. And it's hard to see, but there's these little bumps, and this will take care of it. So you can kind of get down here and do that. So Anna's going to spend some time wetting down this pot and doing that. Now when you do this, it will leave little bits of clay up behind from the scraping and removing clay from the surface, but that's okay. Those are really easy to smooth out and we will do that by sponging this off when she's done. So Anna, why don't you go ahead and do that? Remember, she's, not, she's, gonna, she's basically working from here down and we will do from here up later after it stiffens up. So Anna finished up the scraping and it's looking really good. Um, she's got a nice smooth form. Now she's just gonna smooth it out a little bit more by adding some water. So she's gonna take a little bit of water, kind of wring out the sponge, and then she's gonna just start pressing. And she can press pretty hard on the lower areas 
And that'll really start to smooth out this form and make it look really good and really professional. And do you have any tips for the scraping or things you found difficult? Well, things I did find difficult is that when I was scraping, I realized that I was making more, like, dents and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a very common thing. And that's just uh, making sure that you are going slow with your tool and kind of working methodically and carefully all the So Anna's gonna spend some time sponging this off, a couple minutes doing that and get it really good. Remember, she's focused on mostly from here down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this stiffen up for probably three or four hours. Okay, welcome back. Anna and I took a break uh, for about six hours. And now her piece has really stiffened up pretty nicely. Now Anna has uh, one issue on this pod and if you look at it, it's hard to see, but the hole is really off center. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle tool or you can take your kitchen knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it up to the top in one spot, very steady. And Anna's gonna slowly, without picking it up, rotate it around. And I'm gonna draw a nice even line. And it's gonna go all the way around the top. And that line is where we are gonna cut off a ring of the top so it's nice and even. And the important thing is we wanna cut off an entire ring, not just part of a ring uh, where it's uneven. So go ahead, Anna. A little faster. Okay, so now we've drawn this line all the way around the top. If you guys can see that, it's hard to see. There you go. And Anna's now going to take her, um, either your needle tool or your knife, you can use the knife, Anna, and you're going to stick this in here and support it on top, don't cut yourself, and gently go all the way around and saw off the top. So Anna, why don't you try that? I'll spin it around for you. Take your time doing this. And she's moving the knife in and out just gently and slowly going around. Okay, so now we're done. You can see that Anna did a nice job, took a whole ring off. And now we have a nice even top and the circle is basically right in the middle. So Anna, we're gonna add more coils, and what are you kind of envisioning? Why don't you explain to the audience kind of what you're envisioning as far as the top of the shape goes? Well, I kind of want it to go in and then up and then out. Okay, I think that'd be good. So kind of in and up and out. And so we're gonna work on that here. So Anna's gonna roll out some more coils, and then she is going to rough up the top and the sides just like we did earlier, and then we're going to add those and then smear them together. Okay, so you can see here that we added a few more coils and we have not smeared them together. We wanted you to be able to see this. And so we got kind of the lower half of this neck put on here, and so Anna's rolled out two more coils here. Anna, why don't you go ahead and add more coils to the top, and it's important when you're adding the coils that you stick it on here and kind of push down. Notice I'm holding this coil from the very top. And now we need to start going out just a little bit with this final coil. I'll rough this up and get some water on it for you. So you, now you've gone kind of in, now you're gonna go just slightly out. So right now it kind of looks like a Dr. Seuss pot which is cool, but now we have to smear it. So Anna, you're gonna take your smearing tool, and at this point, this neck is very, very fragile, so you really wanna go slow and smear very gently, and if you don't get it all in one time, we can go over it two or three times. But support it from the inside, because it's pretty gentle, uh, it's pretty fragile. Yeah, start from the bottom, that's probably a good way to do it. And go ahead and you can stick your middle finger in there, because that's your longest finger. And just go slow and take your time. Okay, so Anna's smearing away on this, but what she's realizing that is her 
fingers are not quite long enough to support it on the inside so it's collapsing. And so I'm up here helping her. We're using my finger on the inside while she smears it. So this is pretty fun. We can use some teamwork here. You can also stick a tool inside of there, say something like your fork right here, and that can also, and then you can support it on the inside so it doesn't collapse. See how that works, Anna? Mm -hmm. That also works pretty well. So why don't you try pushing, see it right here where I'm pushing, I'm pushing the fork out there and then we're smearing, so try that. Yeah, so at this point, Anna's learning that you really got to support it from the inside and really make sure your inside hand is working really well and is at the same, and your finger is at the same spot on the inside as your tool is working on the outside. So now Anna has all of her coils smeared together. And for those of you wondering, yes, this clay that we use here is a little bit different color than down here. That's because it's recycled clay from Fort Boise. So it has some kind of a little bit different colors of clay in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on refining this. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our rib tool. And Anna's gonna come in here and gently try to, instead of using a paddle, smooth this out and try to get a nice even curve. It's a little hard to see, but you see how I'm just trying to push on it and make it a nice even curve. Anna, can you see how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. So why don't you try that? And you can support it on the inside to do that. So yeah, that's probably better. Support on the inside. Okay, so Anna has finished shaping and adding coils to this for today. She's done a nice job. The pot has gotten a lot bigger, a lot nicer neck, and is looking closer to being done all the time. So. That's it for today. We are gonna cover this up really well so that it doesn't dry out too much. Uh, next week, we'll be refining this and finishing it up. So we hope you can join us for that. Again, if there's any questions, email me and we hope to see you all again next week. Thank you, bye.